The realest shit I ever wrote. I say a lot of real shit. Everything I say is real. It's all my life. Hmm, what's my favorite song? Oh, I like, if you wanna rage, let it out. Bitches throwing shade, punch them in their mouth. We don't make the rules, we just break them all. We'll fuck you up, we will not call the law. She said, I'm an asshole, what the fuck's new? If it's fuck me, then it's fuck you. These bitches be tripping, we are not cool. Get the fuck out my way when I come through. I like that one, that's cute. She's cute. This is Rico Nasty, and you're watching Montreality. <laughs> She was the same, naive, lit. She liked colorful shit, I know that. Like I know like that was my thing. Um, 10 years old, I'm trying to think. I smoke a lot of weed. I don't really remember 10 years old that much. I remember 13. 13 I was like, I knew for sure I wanted to like go to like uh, Yale and I just was really obsessed with college and I was obsessed with just being a notable student, shit like that. And all that faded away by the time I was like 15. But I got a lot of awards, I was really smart. Yeah. Art class, oh my God, I had an art class and I had an art teacher. I mentioned her in a lot of interviews. Her name is Miss Labonte. And uh, we used to just talk and she was the first person that taught me about like a, a sketchbook and how it's almost like a diary for an artist, you know? So after every day, it was like how niggas would write in this sketchbook. I would make a page in my sketchbook or it's like a diary for me. And um, I don't know, like having the ability to like doze off and draw my own shit and still pay attention in class. Like teacher, thank you, taking notes and shit. Like it was an escape for me and it, it really, made me want to get more into the arts, more into music and poetry and all that shit. My favorite cartoon character of all time, like ever, has got to be... Hmm. I think... What was his name? The boy from Foster's Home from Imaginary Friend who liked cheese. Do you remember that show? Doom, 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 doom. It was cheese. Blue, then it was cheese. Oh, wow. Cheese. <laughs> then it's cheese, yeah. I loved him so much. He was the highlight of the show. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I like Chobits. I mention Chobits a lot. It's about this guy who finds this robot and they call them Persicoms. And basically he like falls in love with the robot, but he's not supposed to, because obviously like it's a robot. You have to watch Chobits to understand what I'm talking about, but she gets scammed. Some wild shit happened. And Hitaki starts running after her. Hitaki, I think that's the name, Hitaki. Yeah, so it's really cute, I like it. I have no routine. I live life on the edge. I think the most routine thing is that I go to sleep. Before I go to sleep, I smoke a J. <laughs> and when I wake up, I smoke a J. <laughs> That's my routine. Obviously, you know, skincare, all that shit, but I feel like smoking really mellows me out, helps me not think about unnecessary things. Where do you get your confidence from? Uh, looking in the mirror. <laughs> Bro, I feel like if you look at yourself long enough in the mirror, you start to be like, damn, I look good as shit. But I feel like you can't, 
this is a real good thing I, I like to give people. For some reason, when I look in the mirror and I get like a glimpse, I feel like I'm ugly. Like I, I have to like stare at myself and like fall in love with myself over again every day. And I think that's why I love makeup too, because like I get to just literally fall in love with a different version of myself every day. It's really fun to like be able to play with that, especially as a girl, you know, like I, I know a lot of people are like, you know, embrace your natural beauty and embrace who you are. And I just feel like makeup is like a form of that because you're literally accentuating things that you already like about yourself and making them better. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's less extreme than plastic surgery. I think that's why like I'm obsessed with it because you can literally transform yourself into a whole different person. I've done the elf ears, you can do a pig nose. Who wouldn't want to be a pig for a day? Actually, I know a lot of people who want to be a pig for a day. That's not a good animal to pick. Fuck the pigs. We won't eat no bacon. <laughs> All right, we're fast forwarding. I'm 80 years old. What do I look like? I For sure, I'm tatted up. I'm tatted the fuck up, smoking a J in my rocking chair. Um, What else am I doing? I'm always smoking. I don't know what I'm going to do at 80 years old. I'm going to be wrinkly. No touring? At 80? Who do you know is touring at 80? <laughs> I hope by 80, I'm just like living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Oh, I like this question. I feel like I attract a lot of people because I don't judge. It's a judge-free zone. You lose some, you win some. You fall in the mosh pit, you get back up, your wig falls off, we sweat together, get fucked up together. There's no judging, it's, ju it's judge free. And I feel like, you know, I, I, I try my best to make them feel comfortable. And I try my best not to single nobody out or, or make, make it feel like I appreciate one, one side more than the others. Obviously I love my girls, but that's only because like never in a million years that I think I would have such a loyal female fan base making the music that I do. So I do love them and I do appreciate them. But it is really exciting to see so many different people all over the world. I think my favorite show that I've done was in China. Um, being out there and, and them singing the words back to me was just like, music is so universal. Like, And everybody has a story as to how they found the song or why they love it. And, I love them for that. And sometimes I see like people in the crowd and they'll be singing the words and it's like, I could be tired, but when I see them singing the words word for word, it just like bring me right back up. I don't know about that. But I don't really see much else. I'm too busy jumping around. <laughs> My message to the youth is, y'all gotta serious. Hear me out, guys. You guys have to be serious about your ideas. I hear so many young people have some of the craziest ideas, and they're so afraid to go through with it because they think it's gonna fail, or they don't think it'll be as big as they want it to be, or whatever the fuck is holding them back. Great ideas, things that could change the world. So what I say to them is, please don't be your biggest hater. Do that shit. You can do it. I promise. Pinky promise. Launch reality show. Hey, hey, you, you, and your girlfriend. That shit already fucked. That motherfucker be in the head right there. I'm on Avril, bro, in the shower, like, real shit. I'm on my emo Avril shit, bro, in the shower, bro.